Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! Hiya, Sybil. How are things in the world of computer-generated romance? Oh, I'm not doing that anymore. Can you believe that guy? Never mentioning that he was married? Men are such self-centered jerks. Preach it, girlfriend! So you changed careers again? Yeah. Now I'm running a dating service. Um, come again? A carbon dating service. I bought this astoundingly useful machine that tells me how old things are. I usually just cut them in half and count the rings. There's a reason you're not invited to birthday parties anymore. I wanted a fresh start and a new career to get my mind off that fiasco with Honest Abe. This wasn't my first choice, but I got a good deal on the carving dating equipment online, and I couldn't afford to change my sign. You're having financial problems? I'm afraid so. After my public humiliation with Lincoln, all the applicants for my dating service demanded their money back. Not to mention all the money tied up in pending litigation with the clients who watched Max's dating video. I stated very clearly up front that viewer discretion was advised. Believe me, I would love to just close up shop for a while and take a vacation. Forget about Honest Dave and all the lawsuits. It was a wardrobe malfunction! But unless I get a major windfall, I have to hope the carbon dating business takes off. How does carbon dating work? I don't know. Something about carbon-14 and half-lives and radiation. I'm impressed with your detailed scientific knowledge. Very professional. That's the beauty of it. I don't really need to know anything. I just aim my little machine at something and it tells me how old it is. Allow me to demonstrate. This tiki is... Oh my gosh! It's, it's 2,000 years old! This is fantastic! Old is good? Absolutely! I can have my office put on the National Register of Historic Place at a grant. I'd be rich! Who could possibly need a freelance carbon dating service? Plenty of people! Freelance archaeologists, independent historians, rogue paleobotanists... It's also naughty fun for your next bachelorette party. And now that Antiques Thunderdome is getting so popular, business is bound to pick up. Antiques Thunderdome? The show where common everyday people bring random junk from around the house to a giant steel cage match and engage in a no-holds-barred appraisal to the death? That's the one. Now everybody is convinced they have some priceless treasure in their attic and their home will be declared a historic monument. Can we borrow your carbon dating machine? No way! That machine is still my only chance to take care of my money problems. Unless I get a grant, since I'm now on the National Register of Historic Places. There's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. See you around, Sybil. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy!
Finally, Mr. President, you're here! That's the president? People will vote for anyone these days. Obviously. What's that supposed to mean? It means... Never mind. Look, Max, all the soda poppers are here. I don't have time for foreign dignitaries. Check out all the cool stuff on my new desk. Hey, look, Max, it's the presidential discretionary budget. You have $100 million to allocate however you want. What a delightfully random and convenient figure. Are you excited about being president, Max? Overwhelmingly! But I still wonder what happened to the vice president, speaker of the house, president pro tem, attorney general, and all the cabinet... Outbreak of flesh-eating bacteria in the capital shower. Wow, this country just can't get... Okay, let's go. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! Sybil left the door unlocked. She's probably living it up on some tropical island on the taxpayer's dime. I bet she's getting abducted in some sleazy nightclub, then sold into a white slavery ring, forced to do unspeakable things for a power-mad despot, before narrowly escaping his volcano top lair with only one of her kidneys left. Don't be such a pessimist, Max. Sorry, Sam. It's just no fair. We're stuck here working, and she gets to have all the fun. It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. What's shaking, Bosco? Ah, uh, greetings, comrades, dog and rabbit. I'm having trouble placing the accent this month. Mid-Atlantic states? The San Fernando Valley? Hmm, I get more of a vague Baltic vibe. Something in a light check pattern. Ha <laughs> ha! Comrade Maximilian makes the funny joke. I am Vladimir Ilyevich Baskovorsky. Rush! No! But now I make new start in America, which I love. So it's no need to aim in sophisticated targeting equipment at me! What's with the Soviet bloc, Bosco? He's perfectly natural, comrades. I work with your American government in spirit of Glasnost. They know, they know! Who knows what? The feds, man! Uncle Sam! The government's watching us all the time. So that's why I always feel an overbearing presence just out of my field of vision, watching and judging my every move. That's me, Max. Why is the government spying on you, Bosco? I don't know. Maybe it's because I know too much. Um... Just humor the poor guy, Max. 
But I make new stuff in America, which I love. So there's no need to target me. I suppose you've got some ridiculously complex whirly gig to defend yourself against the feds? He's the people, comrades! Workers will overthrow fascist regime! What about us loafers? All are welcome! Come day of victory, workers will unite to bring downfall of corrupt administration! We will number in tens of millions! That's a lot of Bolsheviks. No, he's all true! Plus, I'm working on a satellite missile defense system. Missile defense system? Isn't that more than a little bit overkill? Yet! We are strong like bear against attack! I'm working on modifying BTAS part D. Your anti-delivery system? That's right. It was already programmed to keep people from delivering goods to the store, so I just went into the database and changed beef jerky to intercontinental ballistic missiles. So now anyone can just deliver a blimp load of beef jerky to your store without fear of reprisal? It's small price to pay for free. Something in here smells like fermented hate. It's like sweaty jockstraps soaked in boiled cabbage with a dash of sulfur. Keep it down, guys. You're scaring off the other customers. What other customers? Max and I are always the only ones in here. It's good thing. Merchandise is always available. Coming in here is like visiting old friends. Some of these cereal boxes are from the McKinley administration. I carved our initials in one of the weenies, so we'll be best friends forever, Sam. When's the last time you cleaned out the weenie rotisserie? Needs no cleaning. Adds vintage flavor to tasty friends. See you later. He's no Basco, comrade. He's only loyal worker Baskovorsky, who is no threat to glorious American government whatsoever. Well, Bosco, by my readings, these weenies date from the early Cretaceous period. Uh, da! Special bargain for you! Still tasty, half of today only. You don't understand. Your store is now a national historic place. These weenies are valuable artifacts. Really? I mean, uh, of course! In preserving heritage of my people. Just how valuable are we talking about here? We'll get back to you on that. Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy! going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! Hail to the chief! 
I don't know how you guys did it, but I just got a huge check from the government. You warned it, Bosco. It's not easy to perfectly preserve weenies that predate the discovery of fire. Not to mention the teeming microcosm growing in the bathroom. We're considering making it a national wildlife preserve. Now I can finally finish my satellite defense system. So we can have the truth serum? Sure. Let me dig it up from the lab. This is a bottle of vodka. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Get a couple of shots of that in somebody, and they'll tell you all their secrets. Thanks, Bosco. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy! Sure, why not? Wow! That's got more kick than the other ones. Thanks, Zappa Max. You guys... You guys are my best friends. Now can we get back to the deliberation? What's the point? You still think Peeper's idea is stupid. Stupid? You never told me you thought my idea was stupid! You said your idea of adding Herbert Hoover hugging the four other presidents was the stupidest thing he'd ever heard! Well, it is! Hoover wasn't even a president, which means he certainly wasn't the most loving of all the presidents. Well, at least I didn't suggest putting a parking garage in George Washington's forehead, like some four-eyed freaks I know. You little... You big... Of course you realize this means war! 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 What's this I hear? What wondrous thing? Is this the Defcon Klaxon's ring? A flashing light above the door. There's just one thing it could mean. War. Oh, what's it good for? What is it good for? It's good for you. For me. Oh, war. What's it good for? What is it good for? It strengthens the economy. It shows the world that we've got stones. And carriers with fighter drones. Oh, war. Oh, what is it good for? What is it good it's for? It's good for you. It's good for me.
good for? What is it good it's for? good for you. Do, it's good do, for me. Oh, oh, what is it good for? What is it good oh, for? Keep it strength and do your cards. Well, let's not do that again. It's the Secretary of Presidential Whimsy Ribbon. Looks like Max can use this to appoint someone as an honorary cabinet secretary. It's the official United States calendar. Twelve of the hottest Supreme Court justices in their skimmiest nuts. Even better, Max. You can actually change the official date. Oh, boy! We now declare today April 26th, Secretary's Day. That's supposed to be Administrative Professionals Day. Wow, Sam. When I picked you for vice president, I didn't know you were such a politically correct, bleeding heart liberal. All right, man. Secretary's Day. I mean, His Excellency El Jefe Maximilian I, Intimidator of the Realm, has a special surprise for you. Better get those handkerchiefs ready. This could get sentimental. Agent Superball, we have decided to reward you for your excellent service to your country, for your unwavering commitment to preventing us from being where we most desperately needed to be, for your unerring devotion to being a constant hindrance in our task. For all these things and more, we now dub thee Superball, Secretary of Mysterious Gaseous Emissions. So we have spoken, so it shall be. All hail, Max. I'm overwhelmed, sir. I don't know what to say. Now run along to a cabinet meeting. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. You've got to be kidding me. I still have my orders. Stand aside, pal. The president needs to get into the war room. I'm afraid that's not allowed, sir. Perhaps you didn't hear our advisor. We would like to see our war room. No can do, sir. Orders. Today is Secretary's Day. You have to take the day off. It's the law, Jack! A vacation? Permission to weep openly, sir. Not just granted, but encouraged. The forces of bureaucracy win again. I love this con- Looks like a remote homing beacon in the frigid Antarctic. So peaceful. So Wanna blow it up? You have to ask? The homing beacon to the Kremlin. It was probably turned off in the spirit of Glasnost. More likely those lazy commie bastards forgot to change the ba- Lazy former commie bastards. It's the distant, peaceful world of Krypton. They mock us with their utopian society of crystal cities and- They must be ex- well, what do you know? Bosco was right. The government really has been targeting his store for destruction. Won't he be glad when we tell him? What do you say we keep this to ourselves, Max? You're right. We don't want to ruin the surprise.
Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! Look, stuck to the camera. That must be the homing beacon for the Intercongo store. What? what? Uh, he said, that must be the best price on baby wipes I've ever seen. Where are we going, Sam? After that rampaging Lincoln. Yes! Looks like the targeting beacon is still stuck on Lincoln. This is a pretty impressive temper tantrum, Sam. At this rate, you'll have enslaved all of DC and most of Baltimore by tomorrow morning. He can't. You're right, Max. Still, I think we should stop him. We haven't got anything better to do. Mr. President? Don't mind if I do. Quick, let's go. Shouldn't we revel a little? You don't want to miss this. Presidents in one afternoon. A personal best! 
Well, it looks like the country is saved, at least for mass hypnosis. What do you want to do now? Let's abuse my powers as leader of the free world to squeeze the middle class until they're burning their own shoes for heat. Sounds fun, but I was thinking we could treat ourselves to some chocolate frosted gut bombs and then have a little target practice down at the Smithsonian. Sam, you're my best friend. Agent Chuckles, report. Query status. Lincoln Gamble, four score, stroke seven. Query not acknowledged and acceptable timeout parameters. Error. Error. 